Next up in our small batch brewing series is Huel Melon Smash. Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to check in on our Huel Melon Smash. This is using two pounds of raw Pilsner malt, uh, then 0.39 ounces of Huel Melon at 30 minutes, 0.29 at 5 minutes, then 0.32 ounces three days into dry hop. Uh, this was bottled on 6.2 and came in at 4.12%. Now, why it's so low is we did back off the amount of grains that we were using because my ABVs were starting to shoot up into the 6-7% range. It, using two, 2 pounds, 12 ounces of grain. So we cut it back on this one just to see if we could get it back in that 5%. Obviously this one is a little bit lower. Maybe our mash in temp was a tiny bit higher so we didn't draw off enough sugar to produce a 5% beer. Let's go ahead and open it. Cap is has been sealed before. Uh, good hiss. 25 ounce bottle, two carbonation tablets. Go ahead and get it into a glass. See if we get any head retention. So this was made, uh, I don't know if it's correct. That's the one thing about Beersmith I wish it would do. When you copy a recipe, I wish it would go to that date. Uh, this is saying April 14th is when uh, it was created. Yeah, bottled on 6-2. So I'm not sure exactly when I made this one. So we do not have a head. Uh, some of these have been having head, some haven't. Uh, two pounds of grain, we should get a head. Maybe it is the grain, but we do know because we're switching between the two row malt and the Pilsner, some of them have it, some of them don't. Let's go ahead and check out the color. Golden color, I do have chill haze, uh, medium bubble level. I do have protein yeast in there. I can see through it to the light box. It looks like it's a little darker, like maybe that malt is starting to take over. I was thinking it should be a brighter, lighter yellow color, not this golden yellow color. Let's go ahead and smell. You're still getting that, wheat, that, that, that sweet melon flavor, like generic melon, uh, but there is the sweetness from the grain I'm going with. I'm pretty sure it's grain. But that that honeydew generic sweet melon is just in your face. It's like a juicy melon. Let's go that way. Juicy sweet melon. Let's go ahead and taste. Sweet melon, generic melon up front. There's a little bitterness, like a citrus zest bitterness on the back end. Very light body, light to medium, not even, probably in the middle of light and medium. Yeah, aftertaste, it, it's not that juicy melon. It's just like a, a, almost a bitter melon taste, but it's good. There's a little sweetness to balance it out in the aftertaste. I think in the actual taste, the, the bitterness is a little too much for the Huel melon. Like it, it, it just doesn't seem right. You get that kind of generic melon and then bam bitterness yeah it, it, it's weird there is some sweetness on there in the in the taste but yeah that generic melon really sticks out then you get some of that sweetness but then it's like it hits a 
brick wall and just turns to bitterness. I don't believe that much bitterness was in this beer at the last tasting. I think it was smoother, but hey, that's why we're saving these and reviewing them once a month just to see what happens. But yeah, overall, still a drinkable beer. If you're not a big bitterness person, I think that bitterness might turn you off like it's still in my throat. But yeah, overall, I think it's doing fine. I think next month that uh, malt is going to start taking over more since we are getting some of that sweet malt in the smell and a little bit in the taste. But we will have to wait and see. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.